Hey there, welcome to my channel. This month we're going to do a collective haul video. I have never done a collective haul video, so we'll see how this turns out. I might be rambling, I don't know, but tune in to see what everything I bought for the month of June. I shopped, probably shopped too much. Don't judge, that's all I'm gonna ask. <laughs> Stay tuned. Hey there, welcome back to my channel. My channel is about treating yourself to a little bit of luxury. I indulge in that way too often. And that could be anything from your cup of coffee, your incredibly spoiled pooch who likes to sit here and play with your things, handbags, skincare, makeup, what have you, whatever you enjoy and want to treat yourself with, that's what we're about here. So for the month of June, I did some shopping. I didn't shop. I didn't buy any like full price bags, but I definitely bought some bags and I definitely shopped, but it was like all over the place. So you've already seen some of them. Some of them are some videos. So like this bag right here, my Tiffany and Fred bag. I bought that new from an outlet. So that was one they did new. I did, well, that wasn't actually in May. <laughs> that was the end of May. That one. But, and then I have those two, um, from Poshmark that I got the, the Reed Crake Off bags and there's more, <laughs> there's more. So this month I shopped all over the place. I was just, I, I was just everywhere. And that's what I do every month. I, I think I only show you probably half maybe of what I buy in a typical month. So this this time I decided, you know what, at the end of the month, I'm going to do a collective video of everything that I bought, everything that you don't typically see that maybe I don't share, that I'm just kind of, you know, into perusing, what have you, or what's coming into my bathroom, desk, what have you, just all over the place. So where I'm going to start off with is what's on my face, or more importantly, maybe what's not on my face right now. <laughs> Oh, because where we shopped first of all was at Tatcha. Tatcha was having Tatcha was having a friends and family 25% off sale and I bought some stuff. Pickles has her paws on all of it, so I'm grabbing it right now. So um I really enjoy the rice polish exfoliating um powder. I guess is what you call it from Tatcha and I have used this white one in the past and I actually already have I bought a giant one it's already in the shower I'm already using it but I bought three minis in a variety of different types so this white one is the rice polish classic right there this dark box is the rice polish deep so a little bit more intense and then this one is the calming. So my skin has been going through at this age of my life, 48, just, uh, I'm just all over the place. Some days I'm breaking out and all just a teenager. And some days I'm like rosacea, extra sensitive, crazy. So I just kind of have to have a little bit of something, something to deal with whatever on hand to deal with whatever's going on with the face. So I bought that. Um, and then I had tried the deep cleanse four years ago, I want to say. So I wanted to try it again. So I got a, a sample size of that. And then I had read good things about the texture tonic. So I think Michelle Wong is the one who said that this was good. And she's got I think eczema something on her face so she has sensitive skin so that's why I went there with that one and then lastly and this leads on to what isn't on my face and what is on my face so um I got the um liquid silk canvas and I used to use the putty version of the silk canvas really enjoyed that product a little bit more um silicone kind of feeling and heavy and I really liked that product for when I used to really cake on 
the foundation, especially when I use like mineral foundation, I had, I did really thick coverage. And in the last year and a half or so, I've been migrating to just kind of like spot concealing and just kind of letting my flaws come through and not really, um, being as, I don't know, I guess self-conscious about it as I used to be. I used to literally like put on a thick mask. It was like I could peel off my face at the end of the day. So um, to transition, I bought this one and I did this because I was hoping to make these two products work for me and I still hate them. Let's just be blunt. I, I hate them with a passion. Um, the Chanel, it, the Chanel one, I like the texture just fine. The color is horrible. I just, they've been sold out of the medium. So I intend to buy the medium so I can mix the two and hopefully get to a skin color that m makes sense. But when I put this on, I look like Casper the Ghost. This is the light and it's just, it's horrific on my face. So the minute I, every time I put it on, I'm like, why did I do this to myself? And I immediately wash it off and I'm just like, that was just stupid. So that's, you know, it is what it is. I, I will give this another shot. I just need to try this. I am so upset with, I, I am so upset with this product. Um, I got this in the 1.5 N, which is my color basically 70% of the year. I use 1.5 N in the concealer and that is my go-to product most of the year. And then I go to 2C this time of year. So I don't know what it is about the skin glow, but this is not my shade and I'm so angry about it. Even so when I bought it, what in March it was, it, I was pasty as get <laughs> y'all get out then. And I, I was, it was still like two shades too light. So I, I don't even know if I want to try and get the 2C and see if that is just the problem. I, it, the texture of it's horrible. I've tried it with the silk canvas, still hate the texture of it. It feels disgusting. I am very upset with um, how much this cost, the texture of it, everything about it. It just, I hate it. So not going on my face. Don't know if I'm going to buy it again. I, I want to love it because I love Dior. I want, I really do want to love it, but I, I just can't. I'm just, I'm that angry about it. <laughs> I'm that mad. She's bitter. <laughs> but moving on to what is on my face today. Now I'm kind of minimal. I only have, um, so I have this Say, um, what is it called? Star Glow, Glowy Super Gel as the primer. And then I have my Ride or Die Dior Concealer in 2CR because this time of year I'm a 2CR. Did I not say that in there? 2CR. Um, so 2CR is my color basically as soon as I start to get color, I become a 2CR. So this is my go-to and all I have to do on it is just a couple spots. Right now, all I literally have on is mascara and then lip liner and Clarins lip oil on top of it. So really basic, minimal makeup. I, that's what I like to do this time of year, just to look a little bit made up, but not too heavy. It's quite warm today. So I, this is summer and this is the look. So this is what's on the face and what will be on my face probably for the next three months. And then we'll talk again when I decide to move on. Anyway, moving on to next stuff. What I bought, I got my ride or die brand with clothing is universal standard when they have their mystery boxes, mystery sales, that kind of thing. I did pick up a mystery box. Um, one of their super duper discount ones. I think it's like 90 bucks. You get three, who knows what you're going to get items. And I got a excellent box. I mean, excellent box. I got these fabulous, um, Ponte knit. Like, they call them leggings, but these are basically a really nice, um, knit pant that look like suiting pants. They have really lovely, um, slit pockets right here. The length is beautiful on them. I'm just 
pleased as punch. I have a suit jacket that I tried on with it and it's just beautiful. So um, I think they were normally a hundred and some odd dollars, maybe 98. Um, and I'm like, score, I, if I could have four of them and had locked out, I would have bought more, but you never know. Again, mystery box, you never know what you could get. So, okay. So the next two items I got in that box, you've actually already seen one of them. It's this green shirt. I've worn it in a couple of videos already, um, this m last month in, in, uh, June. So this shirt it's a, a lovely crepey material it's lightweight it has the prettiest back to it um, it's a beautiful work top i just love the sleeves on it it's just really cute so i am practically living in it so that's why you have seen it a few times now on um videos and then last, I got this lovely sweater, which is a really nice fine knit top. Um, well, I should say two piece appearing. So down at the bottom there, it has this like sewn in shirt and it's just the prettiest blue color. The fine woven material, I just think it's really beautiful. And the minute I saw it, I was like, this is coming with me on my trip to Chicago. So it's already on my list to pack, to take to Chicago, to wear with that, with Farah. And I am just pleased as punch with um, the, there's a little placket in the back to allow for movement. It's just a really beautiful piece. So I'm really excited about that acquisition. Okay, so next up, I've got some jewelry that I picked up and a few of them. So um, a couple of the things that I got, I actually got the charms, I believe in May, maybe even earlier than that, but I didn't get the chain until last this last month. So I haven't been able to wear them or use them. So let me grab those and I will tell you the story behind them. So um, a friend was selling these from her Dior bag that she picked up. And these are the My ABC Dior little charms. And I saw them and went, I need to have them. So you can decorate your bags with these from the Lady Dior range. And I was looking for the perfect necklace to wear them with. And I want to layer them over time, possibly, um, you know, just have them on as, as different, different pieces. And I got the P for pickles, but, um, and of course for me, and then eventually I'd like to pick up the other, you know, K for my last name and what a D for Dolly, B for bamboo and so on, S for stuff. Um, you can kind of have all of those laying around, but I just wanted to share that because, uh, they were fun. <laughs> and next, um, so Steph and I have, celebrated on May 30th was our 20th wedding anniversary. We've been together since uh, 2001. So 23 years together, 20 years of marriage. And um, we didn't really do too much. We were just kind of around, but he picked up something for me. And we had talked about possibly getting, you know, new um, wedding jewelry, renewing our vows, but it's just like, you know, uh, whatever, 20 years, but it's just, who cares, right? It just, it is what it is. So rather than spend money on that kind of stuff, I, I had mentioned that I really wanted some tanzanite earrings. So I got some studs and I wanted something I could put up on my second hole up here. So he picked me up those which was very kind. Purple is my favorite color. So that's just something that I, that was fun. And then, um, and I'll insert our, our photo. I think you can see them, um, from when we first got married, but those are they're 20 years old and they weren't the best photos, but I'll see if I can find it. Um, my original wedding set was stolen, um, a few years after we got married. I want to say it was three years after we got married. We were moving our house. Stupid me left the jewelry box in the house the movers that we hired to move us and pack the truck up you know i just wasn't thinking they loaded up the truck 
I left a few things behind, a couple of backpacks, a couple suitcases, left the jewelry box loaded with all of my stuff. And I thought, I'm going to come right back in the car, load the car up with the valuables. <laughs> and within that time frame, between sending them off, running an errand and coming home, our house was broken into and my jewelry box and all of the valuables were stolen. Um, and that was really traumatizing and just really, you know, just, uh, you know, I mean, they're on insured on it. It was 20 years ago, so <laughs> almost 20 years ago. Um, I've always said I was going to get a new set and replace it, but I've always been kind of, um, I don't know, just scared again of that happening again, being, I don't know. I, you know, you, you get, you get traumatized from something like that happening to you. So it not being safe in your own home it could happen to you on vacation you could just hit your hand and lose it you know a stone fall out and yes i know there's insurance and it gets replaced but then it's like having to go through that all over and over again so for the longest time i've just kind of um kept the the real set around and you'll see it every so often i think i wore it a couple weeks ago in one of the vlogs the the real diamonds just kind of around but for the most part i wear uh diamondique and that's just kind of what i've always worn out and about i try to minimize that um just it, it just didn't seem important. You know, it's like I bought, I'd rather have the money to go to other things, the dogs, what have you. It just, that there was other priorities. So thought about having, you know, something done for the milestone, but ironically enough, so this diamondique ring that I've been wearing for a few near years now, um, a couple of the stones have fallen out and I hadn't had that problem. I'd worn one for probably 10 years and then I upgraded to this one. I just kind of got, I don't know, frustrated with that process and there's nothing new on the website that seemed appealing. And I'm just, just like, well, what the hell? I, you know, just gonna let it go. And then I kept getting these ads for this brand on, on Instagram. And I was just like, well, you know what? Let me, let me check it out. So I decided to just go ahead and get some, and it's not, this is not sponsored. This is just me buying something, but it came in a really nice little pouch and came in a nice little box. And I was just like, okay, let's, let's check it out. Let's see. I mean, it looks a little bit too, too big, but it's very similar. Um, so that's the one I decided to pick up as a replacement. I think it's a little bit too big, but I kind of like it. I wouldn't wear it with a band. I just wear it by itself. I don't know. So I'm toying with the idea of, of that one as a replacement. It was like $120 or whatever. So I don't know. We'll see. But that's, that's that one. So that was for that. And then last was a couple more bags that I picked up. And I've been really um, kind of focusing on pre-loved and um, vintage, vintage, vintage e pieces, things that are that are not current. So um, if you've watched any of my recent videos, pickles, you're <laughs> she's on it. Um, you know I have a fondness for the burrow back, and I don't have a mini. I watched um, Birkin Boy Craig's video about um, the burrow and he was very fond of the mini. And while I'm not a tiny bag kind of gal, I, I was like just intrigued. So this one came up on eBay. I got it for like $35. Couldn't pass up the deal, obviously. It's cheap as all get out. It's a colorway I would not have picked out. And in fact, the photos when I saw it, the this taupey color looked very gray and that's why I bought it. I thought I was getting a light gray, dark gray and maroon. And when it showed up, I'm like, Oh wow, that's definitely not the same color that I thought. I don't, I don't mind it because the, um, the medium that I have that's gray and white and, and, uh, tan. Um, I think it's, it's a good enough, 
difference, contrast in color that I will have a use for each one. And I think I'm, it's a, it's a happy mistake. So I'm glad to see that it has, um, <laughs> it seems so small with the, with it all closed up, the three, um, zipper pockets in there, but it, it's in really good condition. The hardware isn't tarnished, which is lovely, but it does seem like a really tight, um, tight fit in there. So really, um, small area, but I, I'm going to be able to get my phone in there. It's got two card slots here on this side. Um, I think, I think it will do. So I'm not, um, too worried about it, but when I do, um, you know, the weekly bag swap out, we'll see what all I can get in here. I don't think I can get my usual every week, um, items, but I'm pretty sure I can get my card holder, uh, the keys and the phone in there at least. So there's, I'm not too worried about it, but that's, that's that one. And then last, and I hinted to it in my read video, was <laughs> the other boxer bag that I picked up. And this is in this lovely lighter uh, brown tone with kind of a, um, it looks like a lemony yellow kind of, but I think it's just a light vaquetta um, tone up here and more of a creamy white trim. So it's just a, almost like, you know, very light version of the chocolatey brown one that I picked up. Um, very good condition. This one's incredibly soft where the other one's a little bit stiff. So you can tell that it wasn't as um, conditioned or taken care of as well. This one does come with the little luggage tag. It did come with the um, strap holder. So it's all, you know, full together. Um, didn't come with a dust bag though. So the other one came with a dust bag. This one did not. So missing parts, but for the most part, I think I'm happier with this one. Um, this was similar price. I think this one was $60. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this was 60. So I think I'm good with boxers. I don't think I'm going to get one in any other colors, although there's some really pretty ones out there. You never know. I will never say never, but I'm looking at more of the, um, Atlantiques. Um, and there was one other one that has like strips of leather and I can't, the name is just escaping me. I'll insert it. That's kind of what I'm checking out at this point, but that was my incredibly long collective haul. For the month of June where I bought way too much stuff and probably shouldn't have bought anything. We'll see what July brings. It's going to be really hot so I don't know how much uh, time I'll be out shopping but I'll probably be online shopping spending lots of money and you know doing doing our thing. So hopefully your June was great. Hopefully your July will be even better and you'll enjoy all of summer. So take care. Bye. So the funniest thing is I walked away and I'm like, I forgot something. <laughs> and like the whole reason that I thought about doing this video was because I went to Nordstrom Rack and I wanted to talk about the thing I had bought. I bought it like, I don't even remember how many weeks ago now. I talked about it during my um, weekly swap out vlog. I said, well, I'll mention it in a video later on. <laughs> and it's been sitting up there in a bag for weeks. And it's just a couple things. So I go there for to refill on beauty products and just random stuff that just go, like, just go shopping. So I went there to get my It's a 10 and it's what I use to comb out my hair. Um, I live by this stuff, love it to death. Um, and before I got my hair cut, you know, I was running out of it. And so I went and picked it up and then I got my hair cut the same weekend and it's like, oh, well, haven't, don't need it anymore. So it's been sitting there kind of just in this bag. But the other thing I picked up was some sunglasses from Saint Laurent. And when I went there, I mentioned it in my weekly vlog that um, the sunglass case was like, over overflowing brimming tons tons of sunglasses and this one there was two full glass cases and this particular side of the glass case like a whole half of it was just Saint Laurent but there was Dior there was some there was Dior there was Celine 
Dolce & Gabbana, Gucci. I don't think there was any Chanel. I, I don't believe there was any Chanel, but I might be, I might've been mistaken, but there was two full I mean, Ray-Ban and all the other brands as well. But for designer, well, Fendi, there's Fendi. Um, Loewe was there a lot. I mean, more than I've ever seen. The most I've ever seen in this particular rack is just one glass case and one level. And then on the lower level, they usually have like the fancy jewelry and other, you know, designer stuff that they lock away so that people can't walk off with it because we have a, we have a, uh, you know, a little bit of a <laughs> handsy population. Let's just, let's just say it that way. A handsy population in our, in our region. But anyway, saw these Saint Laurent sunglasses and they came in a nice soft case in branded in, um, monochromatic imprint there, then in gold in here. And then I wanted the ones that had the prominent YSL branding on each side. And these are just kind of a more rounded cat eye, but still a little bit cat eye on the edge. And I got these for $199.97, normally $460. Wow. I didn't even notice that. I'll see if I can put what style they are. It just has a bunch of numbers on there. But I just really wanted a pair of YSL sunglasses for quite some time. And I just was really excited about that. So I can't believe that I completely got through that whole video and didn't think about mentioning the whole point of the video. So thanks. Mm -hmm.